state lawmakers gather for day two of the special legislative session. The goal, find ways to make up for a projected budget shortfall due to COVID-19. Jay Bird joins us live with an update on the progress legislators are making. Jay. Hey, good evening, guys. Once again, we are all spaced out here at the Jack Stevens Center on the campus of UA Little Rock. And it was day two of the special session. Again, only one thing on the agenda. That was House Bill 1001. The House took it up today, and it passed unanimously 100 to nothing. The same over on the Senate side, 34 to zero in that case. Again, these bills will establish the COVID-19 fund, and the governor and heads of the General Assembly will be using that to plug some holes in the current fiscal year shortage. The governor said he will sign that bill immediately into law and they will get to work on how to disperse part or all of that 173 million dollars that will be transferred into that COVID-19 fund. Speaker of the House Matthew Shepard says this bill is just the beginning of that fight. This has all come about so quickly. I mean, when you look at where we were at just a couple of weeks ago, uh, everything was great. And now we're in a, in a uh, we've got a severe public health challenge, but also a severe economic and, and fiscal challenge to the state. So those are, those are all going to be discussions and conversations that we're going to get further into uh, as, we, as we move out of this special session. And again, the Senate and the House will meet again tonight at 12.01 to meet that three-day requirement for a special session. Both will be voting on the opposite chamber's bill. So the House will be voting on the Senate bill. The Senate will be voting on the House bill. Live from the Jack Stevens Center, Jay Burr, Fox 16 News.